Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm doing this video a little bit more vlog style just because we are awaiting arrival for our first respite care children to come. If you've been following my channel at all, you know that we are certified foster parents. We do not yet have a placement, but we're doing respite care this weekend. So we're basically taking in um, two boys just for two nights. It's gonna be fun, they're nine. Yeah, our house is gonna be loud and we're really excited for that. I don't know what this video is gonna look like, but I just wanted to document it as our first foster care experience and it's a little bit scary for us but I can't imagine what it's like for them because they've not met us they're coming into a stranger's house and hopefully we're not too scary I've been cleaning the house like crazy which is probably dumb because nine-year-old boys are yeah they're gonna be messy I just wanted to film before they got here tell you what's going on and I'll film hopefully throughout the weekend so stay tuned All right, David just got home from work and the kids should be here any minute. I made him come home a little early because I wanted him to be here when the kids got here. Yeah, we're excited. You would think this is like a permanent placement because we're, well, I'm freaking out a little bit because this is our first experience, but. It'll be fun. We'll have fun. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, it's like 9.30 at night and if you can hear in the background, Imagine Dragons Believer is on because it's the boy's favorite song and it makes them feel comfortable. These boys are so sweet and it just breaks my heart because they ask us all the time if they can sit something here or if they can do that or where should they put this or I don't know, I just think about every weekend or every house they go into, it's new rules and they talk about their bio parents all the time and that breaks my heart too and obviously reunification is like the main goal of foster care and I don't really know the whole details of the case but these boys are so sweet. If you've ever thought about doing this, it's gonna change your life and I am newly into this as you can tell but it's like the most heartbreaking but yet wonderful thing. I don't even know how to explain it but anyway um night one was a success we did a bonfire we went to the park we played basketball it was a good day we're just doing a quick little update because the boys are downstairs working on a project we're playing games <laughs> david how do you think this weekend is going it's going well <laughs> are you having fun yeah we've had a great time we took them to the lake to the beach that was a lot of fun did a bonfire, did a bonfire with s'mores. s'mores, hot dogs on the grill. Started working on um, an art project, a lot of drawing. We got sunburned. Look at that. Science experiments. Yep, we did some science experiments. They're the sweetest little guys. They are. They're very well behaved, very sweet. We've had a fun weekend. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna film a follow-up the night the boys left, but truth be told, they've been here another weekend. In the meantime, I was so delayed on getting this video put together. But anyway, we've now had them for two weekends in a row. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. On Friday, we're getting ready to have them for the third weekend in a row. It has been wonderful. So going into this, we did not know what to expect, and we have grown so attached to these boys. Now, I will say this case is a unique case in the sense that there is a chance that we could be taking over the placement as a permanent placement, but there's also a chance that a family member is gonna come into the picture. So we're kind of up in the air. What I have learned so far, one, you can get attached super, super easily. First weekend they were here, they left, and David and I were super sad because we missed them. I don't know, it's just something about them. Like we just got attached so, so quickly. I know that's a lot of people's fears in getting into foster care, it's like, I don't want to do it because I don't want to get attached, but these children need people who are willing to get attached because that's what they're missing in their lives. They need those attachments, those people who can love them and love them hard, even if it means it's going to be heartbreaking when they leave. And I have a feeling that's going to be so difficult for me. I mean, just watching these boys leave after being with us for three days, I'm like crying in my room because I miss them. But you know, it's all part of it and you just have to remember you're making a positive impact. Two, we have seen behavioral issues so it's not like it has been a walk in the park. Like I took the boys to the movies and there was a big meltdown and I am not a parent, this is all new to me. 
and I didn't know what to do. But you know, I handled it. Me and the boy talked it out and it's normal. You're gonna see behavioral issues. These kids have been through so much, but oh my goodness, I wish I could communicate this clearly. The positive far outweighs the negative and these boys, just to hear them open up to us about their struggles or their fears or they ask us to pray and they thanked God for being in our house and for meeting us and talk about like a jab to the heart of just, oh my goodness, it was like an overwhelming, God, you are in this. Anyway, that's my takeaway so far from foster care. Again, I am a newbie, but hey, everybody starts somewhere and I wanna to continue to record our foster care videos. If you wanna follow along with us, I know some of you have been here since we first shared our struggle with infertility, and of course that's still a part of our story as well, but if you wanna follow along with us on this crazy foster care journey, we don't know where it's gonna take us, but I guess in life you never really know where it's gonna take you. I say all that to say, if you wanna go ahead and hit that red subscribe button just to follow along with our journey, that would mean so much. If we're not Instagram friends, you can go ahead and add me on there because you know I'm always reaching out to foster families because hello this girl needs as much advice as she can get um i thank you guys for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and stay tuned for another foster care update coming soon bye